Okay, hello everybody on Talk Funnels. Uh, I wanted to take just a couple of minutes. I'm going to be doing some uh, some uh, research, some interest-based audience research. I use uh, Facebook's Audience Insight tool for that. I'm doing this for a company we're launching called Keola Life, which is a industrial hemp oil CBD kind of business. I'm just starting my research. We're launching uh, stuff. Uh, probably in the next 30 days or so. So I've got to get my audiences ready and those kinds of things. And it's actually a pretty much a challenge in these areas. So I thought this would be a pretty good thing to start. Now, I'm not going to take you through all of my audience because I'll, I'll spend the next couple of hours in this area, okay? So why Facebook uh, uh, Insights? It's because it gives you uh, it gives you some data. Keep in mind, uh, Facebook is an is a auction site. Now, you're competing with everybody else when you run ads. And so... If your product or service is similar to other people, you need to make sure that you're getting your offering, your message, your offer in front of the most interested people. And so if there's a lot of people in an interest group, you'll spend more money trying to get in front of them because you're, you're marketing to the haystack and not the needle. Okay. Facebook gives everybody, everybody the same access to their tools in the walled garden there. So in order for you to get the right audience so that you're not spending the most amount of money in customer acquisition, you're paying the least amount for click and conversion, you've got to dig a little deeper. So I want you to download Facebook Audience Insights Plus. So what you do is you'll search for Facebook Audience Insights Plus Chrome extension. Got that right here. And this is what you're going to find. Okay. And you're just going to add this to Chrome. Okay. That's first step. Then I want you to go to Facebook and log into your business manager. You're going to go to business.facebook.com, click on the three bars in the upper left, click on all tools, under plan, you're going to see audience insights. I have that right here for us. Okay, so these three bars, all tools, audience insights, we're going to end up with this. And you can see my screen looks different than yours because I have this little Facebook audience insight plus tool that you just downloaded, installed. Okay, so we're going to jump that in that in a minute. Here's the thing. I want you to spend some time. I really do. If you, the more you invest in the research, the less you'll have to invest in ad spend. Okay. So I want you to pick one and only one of these at a time when you're going through this research and you're trying to do things. So I've got a, a spreadsheet that I'm going to provide you a link to. And this is what I use. So I'll just, my first one is websites and magazines, etc. Kind of goes along with this list. Go ahead and pause this and you can write these things down. But I'm going to start with websites. I'm going to look in the audience insights for websites because this is data outside the Facebook walled garden. And if I can layer that data and then use Facebook's machine learning, my chances of getting in front of a passionate, active, engaged audience is just increased. Um, I'm going to next look for magazines because these are subscribers. Now, what is it we want to try and do? We want to get somebody's email address. Those are subscribers. Well, magazines have been doing this for a long, long time. So if I can find a magazine that's geared directly to my passionate audience, then I'm, I'm halfway there. Associations, organizations, these are things that people join and they contribute to. They can be passionate about that. Forums. This is where people have conversations with other people. Yep, yeah, imagine that. Um, brands. Uh, people get Harley Davidson tattoos. They love that brand so much. Tier three celebrities. So I don't, let's take golf. Everybody knows Tiger Woods, but not everybody knows Bubba Watson. Okay. So only people that if I wanted to get in front of real fanatical, real golfers, not folks that just watch it sometimes or they know about, you know, um, Tiger Woods because of more of the notoriety. But if they know about Bubba Watson and some other folks, I'm there. I know they're there. They pass my, my passion uh, meter. Okay. Events. People are paying to go to these events. So obviously you have to be passionate or really engaged in that in order to go to that. Books and authors, these are thought leaders in most cases, and they have good audiences. Um, communities, pages, people join and contribute to them again. So I start at the very top here, and I work my way down trying to find these interests. We're going to jump in in just a second. What we're going to do is we're going to enter a, enter a broad interest term. Then we're going to go to page likes. We're going to look for dead-on interest in some of these new tabs. And we're mainly looking for is, is that interest on Facebook active and engaged? And I'll show you what we look for there. You can go to uh, Google and look for the top 10 whatever magazines. So I might be looking for the top 10 skiing magazines or backpacking magazines or those things. You can use these resources, allyoucanread.com or magazines.com. Let me show you. I have that up here uh, real quick. So this is all you can read. 
And what I'm going to be doing, uh, not not with you on here, because I'm going to be at this for hours, okay? Hours investing time in this. I'm going to go to Outdoor Magazine. I'm going to try and find some magazines that our constituents go through. So you may think CBD oil, you know, that's a health product or wellness kind of product. Um, we're an outdoor brand. We think CBD is something that lots of folks should, could like, but the Keola is, is for outdoors. So we're going to be looking for extreme sports and we're going to be looking for backpacker. There we go. We're going to look for, um, surfer magazines, skiing magazines, um, biking magazines, uh, people that are climbing, that kind of thing. So I went to backpacker and just want to show you again, these folks have been at this for a long time. So here's backpacker, great magazine. Um, and this is their website. Okay. So we'll see if that, uh, see if I can get there. So Backpacker Magazine. I'm going to go though all the way to the bottom because they sell advertising. I'm going to click on this. I've already done that in a new tab. So they sell advertising. Okay. And you can see I'm being targeted because I'm kind of am interested in solar. So all that data that's out there, it's just, it's amazing. So I'm going to go scroll down here and it's going to say download Backpacker's Media Kit. So whatever interest your, whatever your constituents, your prospect, your ideal customer, whatever they're most interested in, I guarantee you there's a magazine or publication out there, and I guarantee you they sell advertising, and I guarantee you they have a media kit. So go to the media kit. Here is Backpacker's media kit. What I'm interested right now is this part right here. I want to know their audience. This is a media kit. So their total audience is 1.1 million. They're out of male and female. They're mostly male audience, so I can use this when I'm doing stuff back over in Facebook, right? When I'm trying to figure out what my age group is going to be. I don't want to always pick everything 18 to 65 plus or 21 to 65 plus. There, there's sweet spots in all these things. This is going to show me what the income is so I can actually use that in Facebook. It's going to show me my, what their, what their education is. Okay. So these are all things that are the demographic, the psychographic, the geographic, the social graphic that Facebook allows us to uh, have access to in their collected data. And then here's magazines.com. Same thing. I would be looking in there. Okay. So let's get back to, uh, sorry to bounce around a little bit. And, um, let's, uh, let's just go in here and, uh, and do something. So I'm in Keola Life. I'm in here and you can see this, some of, some of these things red. So what this uh, plugin that I had you download does is I don't have to cut and paste all these things. The red ones are ones that Facebook is not going to give me interest to. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put in, like I said, one interest, and I'm going to put in hemp oil. That's my one interest. And remember, I'm looking for one interest at a time. I'm not going to load this thing up with a whole bunch of interest. And I'm looking for, as we looked in this area right here, I'm looking for start with websites, magazines, etc. So that's what I'm looking for. So I already, this tool helped me a lot because I don't have to think about can, will Facebook give me any of these audiences that are showing up here? Wake Up World, they'll give me that. Uh, here's the uh, Marijuana Policy Project. That could be good. But what I'm really looking for to start off with is some, um, here's naturalnews.com. So I might grab that guy right there and plug it into my spreadsheet. Okay. Again, I'm, you, hopefully you don't have to go through all this because I don't want you to, to listen to me that long. I want to just get this point. There's Make It Legal. Here's all these different things that I have. And, and if I want to add, let's say I wanted to add the, um, wake up or the marijuana policy project, I could just click on this. Okay. It shows up over here. I click the space bar and now I can have what, what does the audience look like for the marijuana project? Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, I, I, I wouldn't do this. I'm only in the one, but I'm showing you how this tool kind of works. Okay. So it's uh, taking a little while for it to show up, but I would get rid of that. So I'm going to keep going down this list and I'm going to start finding these things. Now, let me look at that. Uh, let me look at this. Uh, here's uh, hippie peace freaks. Not really my, not really my area of, uh, of interest. Okay. So let me get rid of that. Go back to just hemp oil. And what I'm looking at again for are websites. Then I'm looking for magazines, associations, forums. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure are these, um, are these places, um, are they active? Okay. Okay. You can see that, uh, that the plugin, uh, tool here shows me, um, 
you know, these the, the ones in red aren't interest I can do. The ones here are interest that are available to me for hemp oil. I went from a hundred and some odd million people to a hundred to hundred fifty thousand folks. I'm not interested in the demographics. I'm not interested in the in the geographic. I'm not interested in the social graphic. Somewhat interested. I'm interested in in activity because I want to see what these audiences are like compared to other Facebook audiences. So right now you can see this gray bar here. That's what that that's the normal for Facebook. And so that's like people want and this audience they're more they're more active. They they like pages. They actually like posts. They click on ads a lot more than your regular Facebook person. The devices they use, etc. Again, I don't want to spend too much time with there. I'm really interested in Facebook likes, okay? In this page right here. And so what I'm going to go is I know the red ones I can't get, but let me go in and wake up world. Okay, this is alternative and holistic medicine. Let me go ahead and open that in a new window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open these in new windows based on is it a website, is it an organization, is it an association, is it a brand, is it a magazine, any of those kinds of things. I'm going to go ahead and open those up and I'm going to look for a couple of things. I'm going to look for the size of the market. I'm going to look for activity and engagement, okay? There are groups out here that are interest, but nobody's interested anymore. So I don't really want to do anything with them. But you can look at this. There's three point some odd million people that have liked this. I'm going to start just scrolling down. I'm going to say, okay, 44 minutes ago, somebody posted something. And then, look, there's there's uh, some shares. Here's some other things. Some shares. For me, I'm looking at this and saying, this isn't really my audience. So it's not going to make my list. I'm not going to add that to my spreadsheet. Okay? I'm going to keep going. There's Dr. Earth. I'm really looking for some... Maybe looking for some websites. Okay. And I don't really see any right here. Okay. Normal. Eh. Rick Simpson. Okay. So now the next thing. Let's go back. Okay. This is this is pretty cool. So what we said is tier three celebrities. So Rick Simpson, I know, has written some books. He's an author. He's somebody that I'd be interested in going to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Rick Simpson. And I'm going to see, okay, is, is his group active and engaged? Uh, when I get to these niches, I'm not as big a deal on, on the numbers of people. I'm really mostly interested in active and engaged, okay? But there's 500,000 people that like him. He's written some books in the, in, in the space. He may be a little more marijuana. And, and again, we're more industrial hemp. But we'll see. Folks that like him probably like what we do. They're certainly going to be passionate about it. So uh, he just did something 46 minutes ago. Um, 230 uh, likes, 75 shares. Something yesterday, 318 shares, a wh whole bunch of comments, 17 comments. Okay, Rick, Rick is going to make it to my list, okay? So the main thing I wanted to show you is when we're looking at these things, this tool that I showed you is something I use because it just sped up the time for me. Then I can actually click on this and I can add these to over in this interest area. I can drill down more and more. I want to make sure that folks, that any of the lists I do are here. And then it goes, and then so I've created this big old list. I've filled up this spreadsheet. I just have lots of websites and et cetera. And I know these are my audiences. Well, I'm still not going to do that, that to everybody. I really want to break this down. Let's say I had audiences and I found these folks are backpackers and those things. Well, I want my campaigns and ad sets to position Keola Life and what we do to a backpacker. So my imagery and those kind of things would be more for a backpacker. Same with a skier, etc. And then so you say, once you have those ads, and this isn't supposed to, this, I, I didn't intend this to go into how to do your Facebook ads or whatever, but I did want to touch on something. I see another place where people lose money. They lose money not by not having a good audience. Audience is king, queen, emperor, dictator, audience is, is what it is, um, then the offer. But then they test too many things. They'll have so many tests going on. So what I want you to try and do is you're first going to test images, different images, and they'll be contract, contrasting. Im images, okay? Then I want you to test just one thing at a time, like I was showing before. One interest at a time. I want you to test one thing at a time because if you test too many things, you won't know why it didn't work or why it did work. So then you test the top text, 
the lower text, the headline. Just do these things slow and methodical, okay? So I think that's about, uh, I think that about does it for us. Um, and I hope this, uh, hope this helps.